In this video, I'm going to do another administrative. I'm going to be discussing uh, headquarters platoon or section for your militia unit. It's really going to depend on how large your unit is. If you're a company sized element, you know, two platoons or more, you probably should have a headquarters platoon. If you're only a single militia platoon, you probably only need a section. Now, something I've been thinking about for a while is what would we need in a headquarters in a militia? Well, first off, we'll need something similar to a battalion S1, a personnel section. The personnel section could be one person or two people. They're going to be tracking how many people are in the company, how many are combat effective, how many of them are sick, how many of them are wounded, how many are currently going through training. Uh, they're also going to be fi figuring out, you know, where are we short? You know, are we short infantrymen? Are we short engineers? Are we short mortarmen? Are we short mechanics? That's all determined by the personnel section. You'll have your basically an S2 section or Intel section. They would be the ones that would be in charge of the scouts or LERP teams for your unit. They're the ones where all the intel gets brought in from the platoons after missions or from the scouts. They collate it, they go through, compare it to other information they've seen so they can verify it and so forth. And then they pass down the information to the platoons going out. And they also make sure that operations knows what's going on in the area also. They would also be the ones that would uh, control, say, your uh, snitches or your spies that are still in the civilian population that are keeping watch on the enemy. You have an S3 operations capability. They're the ones that will be planning your operations. You know, not just what's going to happen tomorrow, but what are we going to be doing next week, next month? What's our goal for six months from now and one year from now, and how do we reach that goal? Your S4 section or your quartermaster, your logistics, your supply section. They're the ones that all the captured equipment, munitions, food, fuel, all that stuff will be going to. They're also the ones that try to acquire things, whether it's by purchase or, you know, having it manufactured or they make it themselves in workshops. They're the ones that track it. They track the location of caches. And when an operation goes on, you know, they'll let, say, 2nd Platoon know that there is an ammunition cache at this location and there's a uh, weapon and supply cache at another location that's going to be in their area of operations for the next couple weeks. They also track the status of the cache is how much was used from it. So when a platoon comes back, they did draw stuff from a cache. They need to let the logistics section know. Now, if you are, have motorized vehicles, you have trucks or you have captured, you know, tracked vehicles, you're going to need some type of maintenance section. And they will have your mechanics. They could be, you know, a light wheeled mechanic, like your average mechanic that works in your gas station. Or they could be a heavy wheeled mechanic, someone who works on semis or dump trucks. Or they could be a military tracked mechanic, someone who's trained to work on the M1 Abrams or the M2 Bradley. Now, you will also have someone who should be uh, the company armor. And the company armor should be, uh, the, the company armor, his job will be to maintain the weapons, but he should also have the skills of reloading ammunition. That person should fall under your logistics section. If you have any cooks, 
say you have a mess capability, that would fall under your logistics also. How many people is in each section? That's really going to be up to you. Uh, really, you need a one section head and you know one troop underneath, maybe two. The largest section that I could see there would be in a unit would probably be the operations section because the operations section would also run the talk. They would be the ones that would be monitoring the radios, monitoring the field phones, tracking, you know, doing battle tracking, which is tracking the operations that are currently going on. What platoon is where, you know, what are they doing and so forth. Now for all my engineer brothers in the Patriot and Militia movement, always remember SAONs.